Hello dear students, as requested by many of you to prepare MCQ questions on international economics. I have prepared this video for the TYBCOM students who opted international economics instead of Indian and global economic development. So if you find it useful, please like it. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. The challenge channel link is here. You can share with your, uh, with your friends and your colleagues. So let us begin with the first question on international economics. The questions, let me tell you, selected from first, second and fourth chapters specially. So first question is nations conduct international trade because some nations prefer to produce one thing while others produce other things. Resources are not equally distributed among all trading nations. Trade enhances opportunities to accumulate profits. Interest rates, interest rates are not identical in all trading nations. So the correct answer is resources are not equally distributed among all trading nations. That's why nations trade. Second question, international trade is most likely to generate short term unemployment in industries in which there are neither imports nor exports b import competing industries industries that sell to domestic and foreign buyers industries that sell to only foreign buyers the correct answer is Im import competing industries likely to generate short-term unemployment because they will be competing with foreign goods okay next question is since 1980s since 1980s which of the following changes has happened in the world trade share of north north trade has decreased in total merchandise exports share of south south trade has increased in total merchandise exports share of agriculture produce has decreased in total merchandise exports and all of the above correct answer is all of the above north north trade means Trade among the developed countries. North is symbolic of developed countries, right? So North North trade has decreased after 90s. South South trade has increased. Means South is synonymous with developing countries. And thirdly, share of agriculture produce has decreased in total mercantile. All three are uh, correct and these happened after 1980s in the world trade next question dumping refers to reducing tariffs second sale of goods abroad at a low price below their cost and price in home market buying goods at low price says abroad and selling at higher prices locally expensive goods selling for low prices correct answer is Dumping refers to sale of goods abroad at a low price below their cost and price in home market. Next question is in the two factor two goods Hexer Ohlin model, the two countries differ in military capabilities, labor productivities, relative abilities of factors of production, and tests. The correct answer is relative availabilities of factors of production. In hexer ohlin model, this is the basis. The availabilities of factors production that relative availabilities differ. That's why nations trade. Next, which of the following trade policies limits a specified quantity of goods to be imported at one tariff rate? Quota, import tariff, specific tariff, all of the above. Correct answer is quota limits specified quantity of goods to be imported at one tariff rate quota restricts the quantity of import next question international trade and domestic trade differ because of different government policies immobility of factors trade restrictions all of the above correct answer is all of the above because of all these factors domestic trade and international trade differ Next, market in which currencies buy and sell and their prices settle on is called international bond market, international capital market, foreign exchange market, euro currency market. Correct answer is C, foreign exchange market where buying and selling of 
currencies take place and prices settle there next question government policy about exports and imports is called exim policy fiscal policy monetary policy finance policy that is exim policy export and import policy it is also known as commercial policy so first one a next trade between two countries can be useful if cost ratios of goods are undetermined decreasing equal different it should be cost ratios should be different next international trade in goods and services is sometimes used as a substitute for all of the following except international movements of capital international movements of labor international movements of technology domestic production of different goods and services so international uh, trade in goods and services is sometimes used as a substitute for this a b c all but not for domestic production of different goods and services correct answer is d if a nation has an open economy it means that the nation allows private ownership of capital has flexible exchange rate has fixed exchange rates conducts trade with other countries correct answer is if nation has an open economy it means that the nation conducts trade with other countries the earliest statement of the principle of comparative advantage is associated with adam smith david ricardo ellie hexter and bertil ohlin correct answer is david ricardo who has given the principle of comparative advantage adam smith given absolute cost advantage hexter and ohlin given the uh, factor endowment theory of trade next if international terms of trade settle at a level that is between each country's opportunity cost there is no basis for gainful trade for either country both countries gain from trade only one country gains from trade one country gains other country loses from trade correct answer is both countries will gain if terms of trade settle at a level that is between each country's opportunity cost next question international trade is based on the notion that different currencies are an obstacle to international trade goods are more flexible internationally than our resources resources are more mobile internationally than our goods a country's export should always exceed exceeds its import correct answer is international trade is based on the notion that goods are more mobile internationally than resources most of the time resources are bulky and it is less mobile than the goods next classical trade theories of uh, smith and ricardo predict that countries will com completely specialize in the production of export goods considerable trade will occur between countries with different levels of technology small countries could obtain all of the gains from trade when trading with large countries and d all of the above correct answer all of the all these uh, predictions and uh, given by adam smith and ricardo are correct absolute advantage is determined by actual differences in labor productivities between countries relative differences in labor productivity between countries both a and b neither a or nor b so correct answer is first it is the actual differences in labor productivity given by adam smith the absolute advantage whereas the second one is related to comparative advantage next question is that only the comparative advantage is determined by relative differences in labor productivity between countries so comparative advantage is determined by relative differences in labor productivity between countries next dynamic gains from trade could result from the stimulus of additional investment spending as markets open economies of large scale production as markets open additional competition made possible by the opening of markets all of the above gains from trade dynamic gains result from all of these above so correct answer is d next the hexer ohlin theory explain comparative advantage as the result of differences in countries economies of large scale production relative abundance of various resources relative cost of labor research and development expenditure correct answer is it is relative abundance of various resources next the factor endowment model of international trade was developed by 
Adam Smith, Ricardo, John Stott Mill, Hexter Olin, Ali Hexter and Bertil Olin. Correct answer is D. Intra industry trade theory explains why United Nations might export autos and import clothing, explains why United States might export and import differentiated version of the same product, such as different types of autos, assumes that transport costs are very low or do not exist and T ignores seasonal consideration for agriculture goods. Correct answer is B. Intra-industry trade means same type of commodity uh, you country, a country may be exporting and importing both. So B is the correct answer. Next, the comparative advantage mode, model of Ricardo was based on intra-industry specialization and trade inter-industry specialization and trade, demand condition underlying specialization and trade, income condition underlying specialization and trade. Correct answer is inter-industry specialization in case of comparative advantage model. Next, one of the predictions of the hexter ohlin model is that countries with different factor endowments but similar technologies and preferences will have strong basis for trade with each other countries will tend to specialize but not complete completely in their comparative advantage good reciprocal demand leads to an equilibrium terms of trade by inducing changes in both demand and supply all of the above facture ohlin predicts all of these three are correct so d is the correct answer wesley leontief Wesley Leontief used an input output table in order to test the Ricardian theory of comparative advantage, Hexter Olin theory of comparative advantage, Linder theory of overlapping demand, all of the above. Correct answer is Hexter Olin. Wesley Leontief used input output model to test Hexter Olin theory. Next, Hexter Olin assumes that dash are identical between countries test and preferences technology levels factor endowments both and b correct answer is both a and b hector olin assumes test and preferences and technology as cost and identical it is the difference in factor endowment which leads to the uh, trade so correct uh, answer here is both a and b Wesley Leontief's results can be interpreted as an evidence against the Ricardian model, evidence against the hexter olin model, support for the Ricardian model, support for the hexter olin model. Correct answer is B, evidence against the hexter olin model. In fact, Leontief used input-output model and data from America and it is uh, seen that America is both exporting and importing the same type of capital intensive goods so it is against the uh, evidence against hexter ohlin model which assumes uh, that if you are capital intensive country you should specialize in the production of capital in intensive good and export it and import the labor intensive but that was uh, tested by leontief and it was found uh, you know otherwise next question for the oil importing countries the increases in oil prices in 1970s and early 2000 contributed to all of the following except balance of trade deficits, price inflation, constrained economic growth, improving terms of trade. In fact, correct answer is D for oil importing countries who are who were importing oil in 1970s and early 2000 they face balance of payment balance of trade deficits price inflation constrained economic growth as well their terms of trade in fact deteriorated it has not improved so correct answer is d next all of the following are uh, the are trade problems of developing countries except unstable export markets Improving terms of trade, limited access to the markets of industrial countries, highly elastic demand curves for their product. Correct answer is improving tra terms of trade. Oh, trade, all of the following are trade problem. Developing countries, trade problems, all are the trade problems. A, C, D. They, they, they have, you know, deteriorating terms of trade rather than improving. So, B is the correct answer. 
NAFTA is a monetary union, free trade area, common market, customs union. NAFTA, that is North Atlantic uh, Free Trade Agreement, is a free trade area. The European Union has achieved all of the following except adopted a common fiscal policy for member nations and have established a common system of agriculture price supports, disbanded all tariffs between its member countries, levied common tariff on products imported from non-member countries. So the correct answer is adopted a common fiscal policy for the European Union has not adopted common fiscal policy of uh, their member uh, countries but they have achieved all these they have common system for of agriculture price and there is no tariff among the member countries and they have levied common tariff for all other non-member countries so correct answer is a next which country is not member of european union spain germany france iceland correct answer is iceland is not member of european union all three are your members there are 27 uh, countries uh, as european union member now as of 2002 the dash became the official currency union of the uh, european monetary system dollar mark franc and euro the correct answer is euro became the official currency it was invented in 1999 as a of invisible currency and in 2002 it was implemented fully and currency notes and uh, coins were uh, minted uh, in 2002 next when several countries jointly impose common external tariffs eliminate tariffs on each other eliminate barriers to the movement of labor capital among themselves they have formed a and a free trade area customs union common market economic union correct answer is common market in fact these three conditions are the conditions of common market next the implementation of common market allows or involves all of the following except so these three which we have discussed just now in the previous question eliminate trade restriction among among member countries a common tax system and monetary union prohibition of restriction on factor movements common tariff levied in imports from non-members so correct answer is this they don't have common tax system and monetary union but all other points are there in common market so thank you so much students i have made questions from first uh, second and fourth chapter if the response is good from you i'll be making some more videos from rest of the chapters so do subscribe and press the bell icon thank you so much thanks for watching